and the electrocution poles are working. So if you touch it, you're going to die. Just kidding, I'm not really dead. Alright guys, today we are in Mentor, Ohio. We are about to go into this Spirit Halloween, which is in an old Toys R Us. That's right, this is an old Toys R Us. If you look down here at this store that's called Crazy Bins, you can clearly see where it used to say, Kids R Us. And if you've been paying attention, you'll know that the new Spirit Halloween movie takes place in a Spirit Halloween in an abandoned Toys R Us. Oh, I do remember the days of shopping for toys at the Toys R Us. But today, we are going in shopping for toys at the Spirit Halloween. Thank you, Automatic Doors. Yes. Right in the door, I can hear that crazy chicken going off. I thought it was right over here, but it turns out there's a small child that has the crazy chicken in their cart, and they're squeezing it all through the store. All right, we will find the crazy chicken, but for now, let's look at what they have set up. Oh, there's a whole bunch of awesome stuff there about to get unpacked, and it looks like they're gonna have their hands full because we are missing Possessed Pumpkin and... What the heck is that guy's name? <laughs> Lord Raven. I can't even keep it straight because I call him so many different things. Possessed Pumpkin and Lord Raven. Hopefully they're in some of those boxes there and they're gonna be unpacking them. But let's go ahead through here, see what's going on in the laboratory. And we do have the bubbles of death going on all four corners. This guy is just waiting. Oh, he is working. Look at this, and he's banging his head again. I want to see what his head looks like after two more months of this. They have a lot to set up yet, so they're probably getting around to hanging him from the ceiling up there. But look at this. This is the only Bubbles of Death that is not lit up. It's just crystal clear all the way through there. The rest of them are... Are they pink or are they orange? I think they're pink. You tell me. Ooh, boxes of awesomeness waiting to be unpacked. Meanwhile, let's check out Mr. Grimm over here. Ooh, he's loud too. They're busy burying something in the backyard. But we'll have loads of fun while they're gone. Okay, Mr. Grimm, you have those loads of fun. We're gonna look around the store. You know what? Let's go over here. Let's see what animatronics they have on the floor right here. And look at this. They've got at least one, two, three Grimms right here. They've got a whole stack of jumping spiders. They always do. Two berries and three more jumping spiders right here. Then look at this, they've got a whole bunch of things over here. Here's a giant stack of jumping spiders. We have three Evelyn Leech right there. Sitting scarecrows as always, one, two, three, four, five of those it looks like. Two Bubba's, man's possessed friend. Oh, three, four, five, six Bubba's, holy crap. <laughs> and man, they have a whole bunch of sitting scarecrows, like at least eight of them there. We'll come back to these guys because there's a stack over there and a stack here still. Okay, these are all we got. One, two, three, four, five posable skeletons. Oh look, these are black light reactive. I don't know if I've ever seen that before in the posable skeletons. Maybe I have and I just didn't notice. But we have five of those. Let me see how much these are. Let's see, $99.99. Those are pretty cool. They look to be pretty good quality too. Of course, you'd have to have them out and, you know, touch them and feel them. <laughs> that sounded weird. Okay, let's move on. Oh my gosh, all right. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six fogging skull piles. Look at this. We have night crawlers over here. We actually have three night crawlers available. Man, I don't know. I really want a night crawler. But I had a heck of a time just setting up uh, little skelly bones yesterday. That was insane. So I can imagine how the night crawler would be. All right, let's move on over here because I see they have some nozzles over here. Look at this. We got one, two, three nozzles to clowns available. We got a Mr. Dark. Oh, there's two Mr. Darks. Cool. There's two Lucky Bottoms. 
And then over here, oh my gosh, more sitting scarecrows. <laughs> Sinister spirit dolls. There's always a ton of those. And what's this? Oh, just the stuffed dummy prop over here if you want to. You know, you could buy one of these and then just put any costume in the whole store on this dummy. He wouldn't be animatronic, but he still would be cool. That's what he looks like right there. And you just put a costume on him and you're good to go. Lots of inflatables in this store. And what is this? Look at this, guys. In the store, they have a sandworm groundbreaker. I know a lot of people have been talking about getting this. I thought it was only available online, but here's proof that it's available in the stores. It could just be that somebody bought it and then returned it to the store. Holy crap. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh, look at the size of that thing's face. <laughs> I can't even get it on the video. There he is. That thing is awesome. How much is he? 129. That's actually not too bad for that thing. That is pretty cool. Don't you think? And look at this. I am having so much fun finding all these burrito babies in the stores. If we would all just adopt one hungry burrito baby, they wouldn't have to eat hands and worms and bugs. Or rats or brains. Actually, I don't think I've seen any that eat worms, but there is this one eating the cockroaches. All right, guys, before we forget, let's make our way back over here to see how these guys do. You know what? Let's start with Mr. Dark this time. He hasn't worked in the last couple of stores we've been into, but let's see if he'll get moving here. Are we going to? Yes, here we go. He is so totally unpredictable. Like right now, he just screamed right when I stepped on the foot pad and he waited and then he jumped up. Most of the time, the lights come on first and then he screams and jumps. Good job, Mr. Dark. Let's see how the bag of bones goes here. Oh, he's got a foot pedal, okay. Here we go. Wow, that was super fast, guys. Holy crap, that was the fastest bag of bones I've seen jump up yet. That was at least as fast as little skelly bones. All right, let's check out Mr. Bottomless here, see if we can get him going. Excuse me, sir, you're hitting your head on the post. <laughs> All right, let's move on over here to Nozzles. Look at this, he's got one big bald spot on the top of his head. What the heck? I think you need some Rogaine, sir. Is it gonna work? Oh, he's got a foot pedal. Here we go. This one is totally temperamental. His eyes aren't lighting up. He has a giant bald spot and his nozzles are only lighting up from time to time. I imagine these animatronics just get worked to death over the Halloween season in here. I would love to see a counter put on one of these step pads so you could see just how many times these guys get turned on over a whole season. I bet it's thousands upon thousands. All right, let's go through the experiment room. We're already getting electrocuted. Is the floor gonna kick on? The floor is not kicking on. All right, the floor is not kicking on, but the electricity is. We have one monitor working here. The other one is not working yet, but they're probably working on it. And the electrocution poles are working. So if you touch it, you're going to die. Just kidding, I'm not really dead. All right, let's take a walk around the store and see what other kinds of awesomeness we can find. And right off the bat, look at this, guys. There's always one missing. We got Ghostface, we have Gremlins, we have a bunch of Leatherface, and no Michael Myers coming out from behind the bush. However, we do have a whole bunch of these Michael Myers carving a pumpkin. And somebody online the other day, probably in the Spirit Halloween group, repainted theirs, and it looked really, really creepy. We have some Annabelles here. I don't know if I've seen the Killer Clown's snow globe yet. He's just turning very slowly in there. Come on, Shorty, do something. Let's try another one here. I don't know what he's supposed to do, but he's not lighting up. There's no glow, no snow or glitter or anything coming up. Very strange. Oh, this is cool. I noticed it in one other store and I forgot to stop and look at it. It's the Binks statue from Hocus Pocus, Binks the Cat. Young Thackeray, away beast. Whoa, here's something you don't see in every store. 
the John Carpenter's Halloween knife. It's just one of these knives that you hang on your wall, but how cool is that? The real knife, the brand is a Lamson Good now. If you want to look them up on eBay, they're like 200 bucks. I like this Beetlejuice headstone, how it's blinking. Here lies Beetlejuice. Dang, you can hear Mr. Dark over here going absolutely crazy. We've looked at these floor mats a couple times. I think my favorite out of this side here is probably the Pennywise. Look at this. Welcome, you'll float too. Look how creepy he looks there. And another thing that I'm looking for in these stores that I haven't seen yet are these keychains. Apparently they're like the uh, the mystery keychain packages. You just buy them like in a bag, not these. And then you open them up to find out what's in them. But they're like little keychains that look like the animatronics. Unfortunately, I think that's one thing that has yet to be delivered to most stores. I've seen some people online with them, but all the stores that I've been in so far, I have not seen any at all. These are cool though, these little Hocus Pocus snow globes. Look at this, we have one with Binks. That is awesome. There he goes. Orange and black snow. There you go, Binks. And here's Nightmare Before Christmas. We have Sally. All right, let's get her going. That looks pretty cool. We got the Oogie Boogie. I'm not gonna pull them out because they're all set up nicely here and I just screwed this one up. <laughs> we got Jack Skellington here. I don't even know this guy's name. Oh, and we got Zero, cute little Zero over there. And let's just take a real quick look over here just in case they would happen to have any Scream masks or costumes in the kids section. I highly doubt it because that's another thing that just has not been delivered yet. No, this is probably where it would be, right over here by Chucky, if they did have it. This is about the only one I'm finding in the stores right now, the Dead by Daylight devil face and yeah I just I want it but I'm just not into the devil type stuff anything with horns oh look at this they do have the vintage clown doll let's see if we can get them going he's one of my favorites of the little they're not really animatronics they're just like a squeeze doll I never did find that crazy chicken though I've been around the entire store here. Oh look, I did find a Charlie though. We got an Uncle Charlie. Let's see if we can get him going here. Yep, he works. In fact, just for old times sake, let's put him in a bucket and give him a whole bunch of stickers. Yeah, I think that's a good idea too. And before we go, let's go ahead and put some stickers right out here, outside the door. There we go, Nate was here. All right guys, that is it. Mentor Ohio Spirit Halloween in the abandoned, what was it, a Toys R Us. <laughs> I've been to so many of these things I can't even remember. Stick around, because we're going to some more. <laughs>